So today I'm going to be showing you a really simple recipe that you can um, use a lot of our Pampered Chef tools to make a tomato salsa. So a few of the items that I'm going to be highlighting today are the microplane zester as well as the forged utility knife which comes with its own um, protective shield and the adjustable measuring spoons which again really easy to clean because the actual piece comes right off so you can make sure that you clean it properly which is very convenient. We're also going to be looking at our um, garlic roller, garlic peeler that also comes with um, the slicer as a set and uh, we're using our prep bowl as well. This is how I keep our herbs. So I've um, actually cleaned some cilantro and I just put it in a paper towel inside our prep bowl. So we're big fans of cilantro around here. So anytime I need it, it's already ready to go because it comes with a lid as well. And the highlight of our cooking show today will be a, a tool that I think every kitchen actually needs to have, which is the manual food processor from Pampered Chef. Three pieces that come apart for easy washing and uh, easy storage if um, you're kind of running low on room. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is use our forge knife to just um, quarter an, peel and quarter an onion. And we're just going to be throwing these quarters right directly into our manual food processor that you can see right here. So you don't need to spend a whole lot of time chopping these into small pieces. And we're gonna pop those in. You can um, use um, some jalapeno peppers as well if you like to have it a little bit spicier. We're also going to throw in some of our cilantro. And again, depending on how much you like, you can put in as much or as little or none at all if you're not a big cilantro fan. Once you have some cilantro in there, we are going to be adding some lemon juice. Now, I don't have my juicer yet. I will be coming, but so for now, I just um, am using this. And I'll be using our two tablespoon um, measuring spoon to add a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. There's one and two. So, so far we've added our onion, our cilantro, and our lemon juice. The other item that we're going to be adding are some garlic cloves. So again, um, as I showed in a different video, but perhaps you haven't seen that one, um, this product from Pampered Chef, you put your unpeeled piece of um, garlic right into your garlic roller and you just press it and when it's finished, it will actually pop right out and the garlic, will, the garlic clove will actually be peeled. So again, just pop it in there, give it some pressure, roll it around until it pops out and it should not go on the floor. So I'll do it one more time, roll it, put a little bit of pressure and again, when it is finished, it will pop out the end all nicely peeled and that can go in your uh, uh, manual food processor as well. So once we have those ingredients in, we just pop it in, unlock it and just pump it gently. Just till it's coarsely ground up and you can see in here, um, you know, it's done a pretty good job already. So now we are just going to add our tomatoes into this. So once again, just quarter your tomatoes, taking out any parts of the stem. And I like to do two tomatoes, and I like to do them um, one tomato each time, just so that I have um, one tomato that's fairly chopped up and the other one has a little bit larger chunks. So again, pop that in, add our lid to our manual food chopper, manual food processor. Apply some pressure. And you'll feel it um, as you are pressing down on the handle, you'll feel that it kind of gets fairly easy. Just wipe that right back into our bowl. And again, we can add our second tomato. And again, just remove any of those pieces of stem that you might have. The only other ingredient that we need to be adding are, is some salt. And again, we can use our smaller teaspoon, our smaller measuring flexible, me uh, sorry, adjustable measuring spoon here, and just add about um, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, if that uh, depends on how much salt you like to have in your salsa. Again, put the lid on and keep chopping. Just pump the handle to chop to the desired consistency. 
and we can take a look and for us I like to have a little bit more in there a little bit finer chop Perfect. I'm just going to scrape that back in. So once again, when you are finished making your tomato salsa, really, really simply pop this blade out. Those two pieces are able to be washed. And then you have a very healthy salsa that's all ready for your tortilla chips. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. And um, if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that I've featured here today, please be sure to just send me a quick message.